today we're talking about fighting siblings with Jo Ryan, who's a parent consultant from Baby Bliss. What do you do when your kids are fighting with each other? Sometimes there's nothing you can do except separate them. But I think the key to sibling fighting, and it's always going to happen for whatever reason, is to try not to get involved too much. Try not to solve the fight yourself. The aim is to let them try and work it out as much as they can. So there's no point going in and trying to work out who started it, you know, because it, it's just not, you know, they're both fighting, so they're both in the wrong. Um, so if they're fighting over a toy, the best thing is to, if they can't come to a, an agreement straight away, which often they won't, take the toy away from them and say to them, when you work out who is going to play with the toy now, then I'll give it back to you. Or when you come to some sort of resolution, then you get the toy back. But um, don't intervene too much. Obviously, you know, sometimes you have to. And the best thing is to just separate the children and let them decide when they're feeling like they should be back and you know be back together and being able to play together. So you're acting as a mediator, but you're letting them sort it out as in much a way. as you can. You don't want to be constantly solving your children's battles, you know, and um, and working out stuff for them. They need to learn from a young age how to resolve problems. And with their siblings, it's really important to learn how to share things and to learn how to be together. I mean, it's not it's not going to work all the time. But for the majority of the time, you need to say to them, this is your problem, this is your fight. You guys come to a resolution and come and tell me, and then we can get on with things. What about when they're dobbing? They're saying, he did this to me, and the other one says, oh, he did that to me. What do you do? Yeah, dobbing is a very common thing. I always like to say, don't dob, because it's not a really good thing that you want to instill in a child, that you know, if they tell on someone, they're going to get rewarded <laughs> for it. So unless it's something where the child is in obvious danger, then, you know, and the other one comes running to you and says, little Johnny's standing on the roof and about to jump off, absolutely, <laughs> that should be rewarded. But if it's just basic dobbing, so-and-so did this to me, he punched me, I just say, you don't want to know, you know, you don't tell me, go and try and sort it out for yourself. I don't care, you know, it's not a good quality to dob. Um, and if they can't, then you separate them and you do sort of, you know, you deal with the argument rather than the dobbing. Is fighting among siblings, does it occur more when the mother is around? Are they doing it for her attention? Often they do, yeah. And you find that it's very common to hear that, oh, the children were perfectly behaved for their grandmother or their babysitter or whoever. They always misbehave around their mothers because, yeah, it is about getting the attention who's the best, who's going to get most attention the most. And fighting is about getting attention at the end of the day. So then I suppose saying to them, you guys go and sort it out yourself, they don't really want to be in a confrontation. No. Yeah, no, absolutely not. So, you know, if it's about getting the toy and they're not going to get the toy until they work it out, they'll learn pretty quickly that, you know, they need to learn to find a way to get on together. I mean, it's not going to work 100% of the time, <laughs> but it's a start. Thank you, Jo. If you'd like to ask Jo any questions on sibling rivalry, then you can contact her on the email address below.